Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the numerical method. Today we will discuss about what is the Runge-Kutta fourth order method and how we can solve this numerical examples. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Tapar Institute, India. You can contact me either of my email IDs are there or else you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos related to the numerical methods are there. You can see uh, our last lectures was on the Euler's method, modify Euler method, sim uh, simplex one third, one three by eight and so on. Now we will discuss about the Runge-Kutta method. So first of all, Runge-Kutta methods are actually the families of the method. Why we call it the families of the method? Because it will uh, define several of the methods uh, under, under this category. But before starting this Runge-Kutta method, we must know who developed these methods are there. So these methods are developed by Professor C. Runge and then extended by the Professor W. Kutta after a few years later. That's why this method is named name as Runge-Kutta method. So the most commonly used members in this category of the uh, family is Runge-Kutta second order method and the Runge-Kutta fourth order method. Also there is a Runge-Kutta first order and the as well as the third order are there. And uh, the advantages of this Runge-Kutta methods are there. It has the greater accuracy than of the previously discussed Picard's and the Euler methods are there. So uh, in last lectures we have seen what is the Euler methods and their illustrative examples. Basically it is defined by using here that is why i plus 1 is this and it is called as the Runge-Kutta of the first order or the first first order or order 1. While we also discuss about the modified Euler methods which is nothing but the uh, Runge-Kutta method of the second order where uh, yi's are defined like this way. So remember that this is the k1 which is defined like here. Also there is a Runge-Kutta of the third order where the capital K is defined by using this is the weighted average that is k1 4k2 plus k3 divided by 6 where k1 k2 k3 are calculated by using here. Now based on this Runge families of the Runge Kutta we will define the Runge Kutta fourth order. So first of all what is the Runge Kutta fourth order? It is a single step method. What is the meaning of the single step is that is uh, you have to compute the slope only at the regular point and it is the improvement of the second order method that is it is the uh, improvement of the modified Euler methods. And why we call it as the uh, modification because it has the lesser error as compared to this modified island. What is the er error is? Uh, it is the order of the h raised to power 5 where h is called as the step size per step against the order of 3 in the second order. That is the modified Euler method has the order of h cube while the Runge-Kutta fourth order has the order h5. What we do in this uh, Euler, uh, in this Runge-Kutta fourth order is we will compute the slope at the four different points which and then we will compute this weightage average that is you can see how you can remember this is 6 what is the coefficient of the k1 is 1 coefficient of the k4 is 1 and you can see 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 6 that's why we call as the weighted average you all know that what is the weighted average is fx by f and here the frequencies are my 1 2 2 and 1 and my this k is my k1 k2 k3 and k4 so if you compute the weightage average 1k plus 2k plus 2k3 and so on divided by 6 how you find the k1 k2 k3 and k4 the value of the k1 is computed as a slope of this and what is the value of the fx is you all know that the first order differential equation is this whatever the value of the fx you have obtained and what is the initial point is this initial point is given at here so you have to compute this slope at the point x0, y0 called as the k1. You have to improve the slope by adding the step size as h by 2 and y plus k1 by 2. Similarly for the k3 you have to increase the step size again by h by 2 and y is by k2 by 2 that is an improvement over that. And similarly for the last value you have to add h by 2 here this is h and k is nothing but the k3 for here. We will see in a couple of examples how we can solve them. So after solving this, after finding the k1, k2, k3 and k4, you have to substitute this, you will get the value of k. And hence, you can find the new approximation as y1, while x1 is here. It means uh, you start from the x0, y0 and after that you will get the value of the x1, y1. 
where x1 is nothing but x0 plus the step size, y1 is nothing but the previous value plus the value of k. Now by consider this x1 and y1, we will repeat the same process again and again and we will try to find the new point x2, y2 and then x3, y3 and so on and we will proceed until we will uh, get the required solution in the particular interval. So that is a way, so we can summarize the steps are there, what we can do, how we can solve the problem. We will try to find the value of the k by using this rule and then we will compute the value of x1 and y1 and so on. So look at that, we will discuss the five numerical examples of which are of the different kinds so that you may able to understand this method easily. So look at that, uh, uh, what is given to you, the differential equation is given to you here and it is given that the exact solution is this. I think all of you know that how you can find the exact solution. You can use the variable separable method, this. Now you can integrate them. So it will be nothing but my log of y. It will be nothing but my x square by 2. So what is the value of the y is my e raised power minus plus of the arbitrary constant. So by using this 0 and 1, you can see the value of the c is my 0. So the solution will be my here. So this is the exact solution. But how you can find the approximate solution by using at the point y of 0 0.2 by one application of the Runge Kuta fourth method. So what is the meaning of that? Your initial point is my 0. This is my initial point. Initial point is my this. And you have to go to the point 0 0.2 by using one application. That is one step. So what is the meaning of that? You have to jump from 0 to the 2 point, it means h is my point 2. And if you compare this uh, differential equation with the help of here, can you find the value of the fxy? This fxy is nothing but my minus xy. So I can say h is my this, this is my initial condition, here is my this. And my target is to find my y of 0 0.2, that is the previous value. What is the previous value is my 1. So it is nothing but my 1 plus k and my target is to find the value of k where k1, k2, k3 are here. Now we can substitute the values one by one in this equation. What is the value of the h is 0 0.2. What is the value of the x? Initial value of the x is my 0. What is the initial value of the y is my 1. So that is my here. So if you substitute this value here, what is that? This is my minus x is my 0 y is my 1, so answer will be my 0. Now you can use this value here, h is my 0.2 function, what is the previous value of the x is my 0, plus h by 2, what is the h is 0.2 divided by 2 is 0.1, comma, what is the value of the y at initial value of y is my 1, plus k1, what is the value of the k1 you obtained is 0, so what is that, this is 0.1, comma, 0. 0.1 comma 1. So now you can substitute this value again here. What will happen? 0.1 into so minus 0.1 into 0.2 that is 0 0.02. Now again you have to use this value f. What is the value of the x is my 0 plus 0.1. What is the value of previous value is 1. k2 is my here. So minus 0 0.02 divided by 2. So this is my point 1, this is my point 9, 8. So once you will calculate them, so after that you will get here as this number. Similarly, sorry, this is my point 9. Because it will be my 1 minus point 0, 1, that is the point 9 and so on. Similarly, you can substitute here, you will get this value. This. So after finding the k1, k2, k3 and k4, you can substitute each value here you will get the value of k as this. Hence, once you will find the value of k, you can substitute this. It will be y0, previous value of y is my 1 plus of this value, you will get the required answer as here. Look at the second example. You have to apply the Runge Kuta method for this here. Initial value and y is 1.1. So it means you start from the initial as a 1 and target is to reach at this point. So it means h is my point 0.1. So h is my point 0.1. If you want to take one step, if you want to take the two step, you have to define as a 0 0.05. So now my target is here. 
so you can substitute the value this what is the initial value of the x is my 1 upper value is also 1 so what is the value of the 1 comma 1 this is my 1 so the answer is 0.1 is there similarly you can substitute the value in second case f x previous value is my 1 h is my 0 0.1 so it will this is my 0 1.05 previous value is my 1 k1 is my 0 0.1 divided by 2 so this value after the calculation here you can substitute this value in this you will get here as this number similarly you can substitute in this value you will get here and this is my value of the x this is my value of y you can substitute here you will get this number similarly you can get the k4 as here after finding the ki's you can substitute each values in here you will get the k as this therefore what is the value of the 1.1 what is the previous value is my 1 plus k is my 1.0682 so the required answer is 1.10682 look at the third example uh, now in this case step size is given to you 1 what is the value of the fx is my here h is this and initial point here so you have to find the solution at this again our target is the same we can move on here h is my point 1 what is the initial value of the x is my 0 what is the initial value of y is my 1 so if you substitute this value here x is my 0 y is my 1 so the answer will be 0 0.05 you can substitute the value here what is that this is x plus h by 2 so x is my 0 0 plus h by 2 is nothing but 0 0.05 and y previous value is my 1 plus whatever the k the half of this k by 2 so that is 1.025 you can substitute this value of x this value of y in here you will get this answer similarly you can find the value of the k3 similarly similarly you can find the value of k4 and once you are finding the ki's you can substitute this you will get the right answer so uh, the decimal place is as you want because in this case it is nothing mentioned up to the 4 or 2 you have to uh, calculate the results as per your desire look at this uh, next example are there so you have to find the values at 0 0.1 as well as 0 0.2 the starting point is my 0 it means you firstly go to 0 to 0 0.1 and then 0 0.2 Oh, it means you have to apply the Range Kuta fourth order method two times while in all the previous examples we have applied the Range Kuta only the one times so what is the step size of here is you can see the difference is my point 0.1 here is also the difference is point 0.1 so we will try to solve the firstly for this part B. so again fx is my y minus x h is my point 0.1 initial point is here so firstly we will target to solve this by using here again what is the y0 is my 2 plus k is my target so i have to find this value h is my point 1 initial value of the x is my 0 initial value of y is my 2 so i can substitute the value here it will be my 2 minus 0 that is point 2 is the k1 similarly you can substitute the value here this is the h is here x plus h by 2 0 plus 0 0.1 by 2 that is 0.25 and so on and if you substitute this value in y minus x you will get this answer similarly for this x3 k3 and for the k4 after finding the ki's you can substitute the value in here you will get k as here therefore what is the value of the 0 0.1 what is the previous value of the y0 is at uh, 2 plus of 0.2051708 is the right answer and since i need up to the four decimal places so you can convert them to the four decimal so it can be here now this is up to the 0 0.1 how you can find the 0 0.2 we have to repeat the same experiment instead of consider now here we have to consider this value that is you can see the function is same now you have to consider this value from here that is x is my 0 0.1 y is 2.0252 h is my same 
and now we can repeat the experiment at this now in this case what is the y zero is here that is the previous value and plus k k we can compute it by using here so if you substitute this value here what is the h is my point one f now in this case x is x previous value is this and two point two zero five two so this is my x this is my y you can substitute the value here you will get the required answer this similarly you can substitute this value in here you can see this is previous value of y plus x by 2 so previous value divided by 2 you will get this answer similarly you can substitute the other values you will get this and this are there and once you will substitute all this value in the value of the k you will get this and hence what is the you can substitute value here what is the previous value is 2.2052 plus what is the value of the k is my here point two one six two three four eight after the addition and round off them to the four decimal places you will get this is the required so this is the way simple way you can solve them with the help of uh, range kuta fourth order method with this simple techniques in our next class we will see how you can construct the matlab code of the range kuta fourth order till then you can simply follow the playlist numerical analysis where you can find the various matlab code as, as well as a theory lecture related to the uh, numerical analysis are there you can see the various complete courses are there all of this can be found in the playlist uh, numerical analysis under the channel name dr hrishkar you can share this video with your friends thank you very much happy learning